sacramental sense that our Lord meant that he must be born again. But in an ordinary, human, everyday sense, which we must face, not always in such a tragic uh, and cataclysmic uh, event as we experienced two weeks ago, <clears throat> but in all the negativity of our lives, the death of a loved one, the loss of some desire, a failure, misunderstandings, all the negative things we Christians are faced with too often. You might call them two choices, but I prefer to not to say two choices, because the wrong choice for a Christian is physical. So there's only one choice. But we have that other option. So we think, perhaps negatively, pessimistically, we, we're not able to, to overcome this sorrow, this loss, this tragedy in our lives, and the lives of those who know. Remember, that's what Christianity is all about. It began with a man who apparently had lost everything and had faith. That's why we're here today because we know that he succeeded beyond all measure. And so when we face negativity, failure, sorrow, suffering, loss, in our lives before us, I would uh, very sincerely and deeply and personally share that experience with you. Remember those words of Lord Jesus Christ in your life. Whenever you're faced with two options, if you're Christian, there's only one choice. And you do it. God bless you all, and may God heal the, uh, the many people who suffered greatly. <coughs> may God heal all of our hurts and sins. May we not be bound up with them. May they not tear us down. But may we remember those words of the Lord Jesus Christ. We must. 